The Cedar from Sony Ericsson is another handset from its eco-friendly Greenheart range, constructed from and packaged in mostly recycled materials. It's not small, but it's light if a little flimsy. And for such a pocket-friendly phone, it's good looking with a ridged keyboard and decent functionality. But it's let down in a few key areas, namely infuriating web access and the occasional social network issue. Okay, so once you get going, you're met with that familiar Sony Ericsson operating system, which has essentially remained unchanged for years, with a few tweaks being added here and there along the way. You'll also find Sony Ericsson's Walkman-based media player as well, which offers a good range of options and customization for a phone of this level. As expected, it packs a measly 2 megapixel camera, so it's no shocker there's no LED flash, but it gets the job done, although obviously it won't take stunning pictures. Low quality video is on hand as well, should you want to use it. Now despite its simple nature, it's still got social networking features, and there's limited connectivity to Facebook, Twitter and MySpace in the style of widgets which can be docked on the home screen for quick access. And given the nature of the phone, these are far from smooth. The Twitter client, for example, is temperamental and awkward to use, with information seeming to take forever to load, despite being logged in and connected. Now, Facebook is a bit better and is even integrated into the phone. For example, a shortcut link to Facebook messages can be found in the standard messaging menu, and you can access your Facebook pictures in the photos options. But they are all let down by the phone's poor connectivity and web browser's inability to produce image-heavy pages on its 2.2-inch screen. Having only alphanumeric numbers to navigate doesn't help. But should you want to, you can send your pictures on to Facebook, Twitter, or via email. And it can handle video playback. In the video section of the media folder, you'll find a direct link to YouTube for searching and streaming videos. Although images do tend to look a little soft and blurry, so it's not really suited for long-term watching. And you'll probably be waiting a very long time for your videos to load as well. Now, this isn't a big deal, but the Cedar uses a micro USB connection for charging and transferring your data. Now, unfortunately, a cable doesn't come in the box, but its universal nature means you've probably got one lying around the house. Now, lastly, the Cedar boasts a rather unique feature, and that feature is video calling. Now, on a higher-end smartphone, this isn't out of place, it's quite natural, but on a phone like this, it's quite odd, namely because there's no front-facing camera. What you have to do is take a picture and that static image is then presented to the caller throughout the duration of the phone call. Not exactly cutting edge, so we doubt a lot of people will be using it. There's also 250 meg of internal storage expandable to up to 16 gig via micro SD. And there's that all important 3.5 millimeter jack. So being kind to the planet doesn't mean having a handset you're ashamed to be seen in public with. And the Cedar is a decent and attractive handset. And on the whole, the interface and functionality leave quite a good impression. Although it's obviously let down by the web browsing, the slow to load widgets and its poor two megapixel camera. But it does have some smartphone features, which is what we like about it. Not to mention that if you buy one, you'll feel good about yourself in the process.